Good morning. This is day 93 of Ukrainian fight for its freedom. Uh, this is Media Center and our today's guest is uh, the most known uh, Ukrainian volunteer, Serhii Pretula. He is a public activist. He's not alone here, so he brought along this uh, pink uh, bucket hat and uh, we will ask him why he brought it and what he's going to do with that. Good morning, dear ladies and gentlemen. Um, glory to Ukraine, uh, glory to Ukrainian uh, um, servicemen who are fighting for our freedom and our independence and who allow us to get together here and work in relative peace and quiet. As you know that I had to come here along with this pink hat, bucket hat, and you know who it belongs to. And uh, today I'm going to tell you why um, I brought it here and why it's not sitting on the head of the front man of um, um, the band that won Eurovision, uh, Oleg Suk. It all started a while ago. I supported um, Kalush Orchestra Band um, during the selection pr process for Eurovision and we got along and um, we stayed in touch up until the final of the Eurovision. A few hours before their performance, I gave them a call. I just wanted to give them a supportive um, word. And uh, they said, listen, if we win, then the cup is yours. And so, um, and uh, you can sell it and you can uh, donate all the money for the needs of the armed forces of Ukraine. So they won. We need small and big victories at all fronts. I gave them a chance to take some rest right after the Eurovision. Um, but later I said, okay, remember what you said? They said, of course, we are going to bring this uh, cup, this uh, glass microphone, this trophy to Ukraine. I said, uh, this cup is a good trophy, but it's um, not enough. There is yet another trophy uh, that is closely related to this band. I believe that uh, they could have uh, probably started the page in Instagram and they would have had millions of followers and they would have enjoyed life. But I uh, made a suggestion um, and I'm happy that they supported my idea. And that's why um, we have this other proposal for you. It's easier to win this um, hat. So if you donate 200 hryvnias to our charity fund, then you become one of the candidates who can win this hat in the randomized selection. The more you donate, the more chances you have to win this hat. Another thing is this microphone, this um, cup that was won by um, Kalush Orchestra. So we are going to auction it. You know that uh, earlier the cup has never become the trophy for the auction. So they would sell dresses, they would sell attire, anything else, but not the cup. Um, now it's being safeguarded properly because it's a very dear and pricey thing. So you can um, buy this cup using traditional fiat money or cryptocurrency. The conditions are very simple. The bigger your donation to monobank account or in cryptocurrency, the bigger chance you get to win. The last uh, stake was $19,000 for this cup. So that's our leader. So cryptocurrency is now taking the lead over traditional fiat money. But we still have a couple of days, so it's not yet over. So we will see how the whole thing progresses. That's why I'm here to call you to participate in this auction, because the money we get is going to be used for the needs of the armed forces of Ukraine. I 
can tell you what exactly we are going to use this money for because we don't know how much we are going to gather uh, but um, I have a dream I believe that this is going to be anti-aircraft uh, um, defense system because that's something we not we but our armed forces need the most because they are now going through hell so my last reminder yeah uh, let me rewind now there are battles in the internet in the social networks and people keep asking is this the real the very bucket hat that Oleg uh, was wearing when he won Eurovision yes I can assure you that's the Panama hat so covered or soaked with sweat and tears so it's not a fake it's the original bucket hat because it was really important for us that this is the trophy the true lot that we are going to give to the winner Oleg is going to have a new bucket hat so we just want to reassure you that he has a new hat but this is the one that he was wearing when he won Eurovision contest thank you very much if there are any questions from our journalists uh, then please ask so if not my question for Serhi what are the figures of your fund I mean financial figures as of now speaking of financial flows um, in three months I will make the report in early June because we do the auditing together with the bank that serves uh, uh, our account so the account of our foundation and um, account of uh, the volunteer fund we also have uh, um, accounts uh, on uh, pioneer and uh, other and paypal so early may 670 million hryvnias was donated soon after that uh, we have crossed the threshold of 700 million um, now it's approaching 800 million but I I don't know the exact figure that we have gathered right now so early June we are going to present the updated report so it's understandable what you're going to do with this bucket hat so bucket hat actually yeah you can uh, donate 200 hryvnias so traditional money fiat money and you can get a chance to win the hat but you know that also uh, people from Europe and worldwide uh, joined uh, this uh, randomized uh, competition so they can donate five euros in order to win this um, bucket hat but when we are talking about uh, the main trophy the cup this glass microphone so this is not going to be a randomized competition this is going to be the auction so the one who offers the biggest uh, uh, stake is going to win and it could be both traditional money or cryptocurrency in order to join just uh, google us so there are the rules there the cooperation with Kalush Orchestra in case it is um, successful what or who can be the next um, assistant to make uh, their contribution to the good deed in order to request money from Ukrainians the money that we need to buy the necessary things for our armed forces volunteers uh, are trying to be as creative as possible and uh, we for example uh, sell um, the stamps from Ukrposhta uh, the rooster uh, ceramic uh, the ceramic rooster um, figurine that survived in Borodyanka so that was yet another trophy that we were trying to sell we also have cooperation with Maria Premachenko Foundation and um, some people say that uh, we are wasting our time but um, 
You know that one of the works of Maria Primachenko was sold for half a million dollars. So that was an eye-opening eye-opener to many people. Because she was a famous Ukrainian artist, primitivism style. And people were not ready to pay that much for Ukrainian art. But now they understand that this is a possibility to communicate uh, with a certain environment and kill two birds with one stone. So first you get uh, good quality art of a renowned artist and you also help um, the army. We are going to hold another auction. Uh, we will have 10 works of art that belong to Ukrainian artists. So one work um, was donated to us by Royburg uh, family. Okay, I will open up um, the secret. We also made arrangements with Oles Podarevyansky. He is the owner of um, a lot of uh, pictures and um, we will auction 10 pictures, 10 pieces of art. I also have a picture. I am the author, humble myself, and I am also going to auction it at the end of uh, June. In that case, we will have two artists um, in this auction. How can you keep the interest um, of um, donate donors, those who are willing to donate? Traditionally, the donors that are charity foundations, physical people who reside in the West, they um, donate um, for humanitarian needs, for humanitarian relief. So there is no, let's say, tradition or custom to support the military of other countries. The other reason, according to me, is that Ukraine is a unique country because we have demonstrated unique volunteer environment supporting our army. This is unprecedented. It hasn't been done uh, um, following the command or orders. So that's the talent of Ukrainians who self-organized and uh, became volunteers. What should we do so that we get support from people of other countries? I believe that um, w we should do something because Ukrainians have um, exhausted their funds. So they donated more in March, but now I understand that people are running out of money. Therefore, I am here. We are trying to communicate with Western media. More than 80 journalists from different uh, media visited my um, headquarters, my organizations, Fox News, BBC, NBC, The Guardian, Le Monde, and many more, you name it. So through the media, through the journalists, we are trying to communicate with their countries, their society. So once the people from those countries get to know, uh, they self-organize in groups of people who are not indifferent to what's going on here and they start helping. I'm now communicating with uh, the ex-colonel of um, the Marines of the United States and he is trying to share the word in the United States about our foundation and about our deeds and activities. We also had a delegation of uh, from the United States um, and um, the, the Navy people, and they are getting to know what's happening here. They are taking this information home and um, they are trying to help. So not only to help in humanitarian needs, uh, but also other needs. And um, this is what we are doing. This is what we are working on. If there are any questions, then please ask so. If not, then you can talk to Serhi personally after this briefing is over. Let me just remind you that our guest was Serhi Pratula, the most known Ukrainian volunteer, the founder of Serhi Pratula Charity Foundation, and he wasn't alone. He bring, brought along the pink um, bucket head, uh, which he is going to auction. Our next